Hello. How are you? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. Anyway, let me show you the product. There we are. Yeah, that's the product. And uh, this is the introduction. Hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. So guess what? Go on, have a guess. Another product from Morocco. Winnow. The products by a brand called Winnow. Now, I've searched a little bit on the internet about this product. Unfortunately, can't find much. Can't find much. Apart from the fact they have got Facebook. They are out there. Just not posting much for me to comment, understand, find out more. Anyway, so it's uh, the winner, Simco. That's a, that's a Brock Simco. Uh, what it is, is five. So it's, it's all in French, um, but it's uh, apparently five uh, chocolate sticks. That's what it is, chocolate sticks. Is it halal? Probably, because it's an Islamic country. Um, is it vegetarian? I don't know, you know. I don't know, I can't spot anything to suggest it is vegetarian. Um, so, is it vegan? Well, there's milk chocolate in the middle, so it's not gonna be the vegan either, you know. But let's give it a go and see what happens. I can't believe much is going to happen, apart from the fact I'm going to review the item. Let's open this bad boy up. Is it going to open? I'm trying to open it without tearing. But, unfortunately, that's what I had to do. I had to tear the uh, set. On the side, it's got some Arabic writing. Now, I can't translate it from our brick. Um, I presume what it says is what's contained inside and it says in French the other side because well we speak a lot of French in uh, Morocco as well as uh, as well as Arabic. So that's it, that's the product. Uh, two, four, five, yeah five. Um, one of them is really broken. So uh, five, four and a, four and um, a bit, because one of them's smashed to bits. Smashed to bits, so let's give that a go and see the direction it takes us down. Oh, as soon as I touch it, it's crumbling to bits. Am I gonna get the hoover out? Probably, probably. Yes, so I could taste that chocolate straight away. That's because I pulled a piece of chocolate out to taste it. So I taste that chocolate straight away. It's a street, it's a street, it's not street, it's sweet. It's a street one. Um, you know, can't really taste the cocoa, I can to a certain extent, but the dominating taste is probably sugar, and that's the center of it. Yes, it's a nice, gentle, crispy shell. We're quite loaded, quite a decent amount 
of a uh, chocolate uh, in uh, in the middle. So you have a bit of chocolate. The uh, outside is really really sweet. That's got sugar on it as well. It's got a little bit of a caramel taste to it. I don't know if that's right whether they've got caramel but for me it feels like it's got that caramel taste to it a sugary caramel taste to it and then you've got that um, burst of sugary chocolate but all in all with all the amount of sugar that you could taste it's not bad not bad it's quite alright, nice burst, very crumbly so you will need to get the hoover out or eat this outside. It makes some more sense to eat it outside. Yeah, the flavour coming through. The soft crunch, that outlay is very very gentle and crunchy and there's not much of it it's basically just to hold the chocolate together and it's very sugary as well but combining together the, cap, the cinnamon out layer sugary and the center is um, the center of chocolate is very very sweet they work together but I think they could ease off on the sugar I think it's way too much it's giving me a bit of a hit as nice as I could taste taste that I feel too I could also taste tooth decay if this was a regular thing The first one was bursting with chocolate, absolutely. The other four, not so much. Um, decent amount, a decent amount, but not enough. Well, not as much, sorry, it was enough, but not as much as the first one. Dominating taste, even though it has chocolate in it, is the sugar. With that one, hardly any chocolate in it whatsoever. Yeah, I'm not feeling the chocolate there whatsoever. So, what was it like? As you can tell, really crumbly. Um, you'll need that little plate. Oops. And you'll need that spilt all over the place like I've just done. Um, silver inside, so it keeps it fresh to a certain extent. Excuse me, I've got a little bit of an itchy throat, so uh, there's a cough there waiting to come come out. Um, so it's a silver, silver inside, so it keeps it fresh. <coughs> <coughs> and that's that cough that was waiting to come out. There's probably a few more waiting as well. So, yes, very crumbly, it's going to make a little bit of a mess. So, do eat it outside. If you choose to get it, um, you know, dominating taste is the sugar. Um, it's really, really overwhelming, and it's bang. You know, when you get that sugar rush, it hits you in the head. That's what it's actually done with me. It's kind of I can feel it in the head. Um, there's way too much sugar in it. Um, you know, I could still taste. Um, you know, everything else is faded away. Uh, the taste, uh, taste of chocolate, uh, the uh, caramel faded away, but the sugar taste still remains. It's still there, sort of like, you know, hitting me. It's still um, lingering around in the mouth. Um, it's going to make a mess. Absolutely going to make a mess. Uh, I presume you could get it from any shop in uh, Morocco, any uh, sort of like grocery shop, you know, just local sweet shop. I presume that's what it is. I got it from a certain place, so fair enough. And um, yeah, that was that. So, 
finish off by saying subscribe, like, share, comment, and uh, let me know if you want uh, me to travel more videos that are popping up around, you know, rather than videos of uh, me sitting in a sitting in a place. But of course, as the numbers go up, as the income comes in, I'll be able to travel more and uh, make videos that I'm out and about, out and about. That sugar's still hitting me. Really, really hate me. So do subscribe, like, share, comment, and uh, I'll see you soon. Take care for now. To you. Bye. See you later.